hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, ne, und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, nach einer Dragon Quest Woche, da das Spiel ja neu ist, endlich wieder die äh, anderen Projekte auch wieder. Sind bei Kapitel 21 heute. Haben ja beim letzten Mal wieder eine weitere Nebenquest abgeschlossen. Äh, es wird demnächst wahrscheinlich auch mal eine Fire Emblem Woche geben, weil wir ja bei Kapitel 21 sind und relativ durch so langsam mit dem Spiel sind. Hab ja schon nachgeguckt, dass es 26 Kapitel sind. Auf jeden Fall, wenn man schon beim Thema ist, äh, mit Spezialwochen. Nächste Woche ist auf jeden Fall auch wieder eine Spezialwoche, kann ich euch jetzt schon sagen. Weil das Pokémon DC demnächst rauskommt. Ich wollte das nur ich hier direkt mal anmerken. Ja, wir werden gleich mit Kapitel 21 loslegen. Ich wollte nur alle Infos droppen. Zum Beispiel die Info, dass jetzt dem, äh, erstmal die Bandgespräche kommen und über mir wieder der Zeitstempel steht, äh, wo ihr hinskippen müsst, wenn ihr die Gespräche nicht sehen oder hören wollt. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns dann jetzt gleich in Kapitel 21 wieder. How are the necklaces coming along? Hey, Divine One. Happy to report that I'm about halfway done. Wow. These are turning out really cute. Credit to you for the idea. Seriously, thank you. Sorry I complained to you before. If I can pull this off, there will be no more complaints from me. That's very grown up of you. Although everyone complains sometimes. Even adults. If something's frustrating you, you can always talk to me about it. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I really owe you for this, Divine One. Oh, that reminds me. I was thinking I'd call these necklaces Divine Dragon Pendants. What? Uh, I appreciate the thought, but maybe you should name them something that would sell better. Oh, it's so cute that you're shy about it. <laughs> but I'm definitely calling them that now. <laughs> come on. Why don't you sleep on it? I'm sure you can come up with something punchier. La 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 la, I can't hear you. As soon as I finish the rest of these babies up, they'll sell out on day one! <sighs> well, I guess I can let the name slide as long as you're enjoying yourself. Fingers crossed that business booms for you, Lady Anna. Hello, Rosado. Divine One, have you seen my latest drawing? Oh, I have. An old well deep in a forest. A single sunbeam illuminating a lone flower in bloom. You conveyed a perfect balance of warmth and isolation, light and dark. Just breathtaking. <sighs> exactly. You saw all that right away, didn't you? You would not believe how much time I spent hiking in the woods to find that view. But to hear your experience, to know you understand, makes it all worth it. Finding beautiful things, then sharing them with friends who would never see them otherwise? You found a lovely hobby, Rosado. I can't wait for your next piece. Oh, sweet of you to say. Hmm, but if you're expecting more, I need to raise the stakes. Hey, maybe you could help me. There's a spot I want to get to, but it's a tough hike. It would definitely help to have a buddy. I'd love to come along. <laughs> Great, thanks so much. <sighs> oh no. What am I going to do? What's wrong? Well, my parents run an inn beside the finest hot springs in Elusia. Oh, I'm sorry if that makes you jealous. I can't help that I grew up an only child in the lap of luxury. Uh, wow. Sounds lovely. Yes, but my parents have just informed me that the inn is having trouble with bears. Bears, huh? Ugh, they can be tricky to deal with. There's no time to lose. We'd better write up a letter telling your parents what to do. But I don't know anything about bears. I have so many talents. But dealing with terrifying predators isn't one of them. Leave it to me. I'm from a village where we deal with them all the time, so I know my stuff. Really? Here's an example. Let's say you find a bear eating your crops. So you say, hey, get out of here, fur face, or you're in for a world of hurt. The bear will be like, Oh, sure thing. And have lunch elsewhere. Wow. Seriously, I'm speaking from experience here. I've done it dozens of times. All right, you're the expert. I trust you. 
I know lots of bear management methods, from intimidation to good old-fashioned combat. Uh, please teach me everything you know. Lady Anna, did you find a buyer for that snowman doll? Oh, right. The thing about that is... What's... what's wrong? Are you crying? Hmm. You weren't able to sell it, huh? No, I'm real, real sorry. I was carrying it around, trying to find a buyer when I dropped it. There's not much left. Oh, I see. Pathetic, huh? Here I was, talking myself up. I'll give you the billion gold I promised to make up for it. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> That's all right, Lady Anna. I don't need money. You don't need money? <laughs> what? Nope. I don't want compensation. I just want another chance to make something for you. What do you mean? I had a good time crafting that doll. I'd hate for it to be the only time we work together. Plus, I've been hearing about Wintertide Village since I was a little girl. A secluded village in Illusia with festivals year-round. I always dreamed of going there. Word traveled that far, huh? Yes. To be honest, I thought it was the stuff of bedtime stories. But it's real. Who knew? I felt so blessed to be making something that celebrates such a wondrous place. So what do you say? Let's give it one more try. Or however many tries it takes to get it right. I like that attitude. Let's give ourselves a do-over. This time, we'll do it right. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, we should budget for some real materials instead of cast-off junk. Um, that's a bit intimidating. I don't usually use proper materials. How much harder could it be? Well, I'll just have to do my best to make something that flies off the shelves. Atta girl! Once we get our operation going again, boom! We'll make a killing and retire young! <sighs> Another bad dream, Princess Saline? <laughs> Is it so obvious? As I recall, you've also had dreams of losing your brother, haven't you? I'm curious, when did they start for you? Only recently. Shortly after we entered this war against the Fell Dragon, my father told me, if your brother and I both die, it will fall to you to protect our kingdom. I thought that sounded impossible at the time. My mighty father and invincible older brother die in battle? How ridiculous. But wars are often... unpredictable. I know what you mean. Now I'm haunted by a growing fear that my bad dreams might become reality. What if an enemy catches him off guard? What if we're separated and I never find him again? I've lost count of all the horrible ways my dreams have taken Diamant from me. My experience has been similar. In my dreams, every disaster I can think of comes to pass. Now, after every nightmare, I crawl out of bed and check on him as he sleeps, seeing him sprawled out, snoring louder than the sawing of a log. That puts my fears to rest. I'm glad you have that, at least. My brother is too much of an early riser for me to do the same. I'd be roped into his workouts. <laughs> Funny. I'd imagine that seeing him up and running in circles would be a relief. <laughs> it does help, I admit. Well, speaking with you has calmed my nerves. I am sorry for worrying you. Not at all. If you have another bad dream and want to talk about it, I'm always here. I can't make them go away, but at the very least, you know you're not alone. Thank you, Prince Alcrest. I find that very reassuring. Well, hello, Princess Saline. You're looking gorgeous as ever. Thank you, Prince Fogato. So, what do you say? Want to have that cup of tea? It's time we got to know each other. Hmm. Is that wise? Oh, come on. You're still mulling it over? <laughs> I guess you can't help being closed off. You are Firanese, after all. As I said, we have a distaste for risk. Yeah, but...
but it's not just that. Oh? What else? Firenay's farming industry is so robust, you don't need to keep reserves, let alone import goods. And that's a good thing, don't get me wrong. But self-sufficiency has made you folks a bit unsociable, if you ask me. Your gates are shut so tight, they might as well be walls. Interesting. When put that way, we do seem a bit isolated, don't we? Very well. I accept your invitation. I'll prove to you that the Firenese people are in no way walled off. Rather, the generosity fostered by our pastoral ways makes us exceptionally accommodating. <laughs> Good for you, Princess Saline. Taking it upon yourself to prove Firene isn't a hermit kingdom. I respect that. It's also a chance for me to gain a glimpse of the secret to your prosperity. Such as the way you curry favor with foreign nobility to pry information out of them. I won't deny it. As a prince, I occasionally have no choice but to mix business and pleasure. But no ulterior motives today, I promise. Just tea and friendly conversation. That would be lovely. I look forward to it, Prince of Soul. I have so many questions for you. What's your favorite food? Your favorite color? Your favorite... <laughs> okay, calm down, Fram. I can answer everything if you ask one question at a time. No one knows I'm a pumpkin. If anyone asks about the wild plants, they're for crafts, okay? I see. I once wished I could hide my own origin. People assumed many things about me. Your fighting style is a wonder to behold, Alchrist. Where did you learn your technique? Well, my father forced a strict training regimen onto me as a child. It's not a fun story. You use some impressive sword techniques, Ike. Would you be willing to teach me? I learned them from my father. I can teach them to you, but they'll be hard to master. Is it true that emblems cannot touch anyone in this world? Does that not get lonely? It's not so bad. We can perceive kindness, so I still feel connected to everyone here. Having you here is the best, Sigurd. I'd say this calls for one of my signature songs! <clears throat> uh, that is a most... how to put this... Unique way of welcoming me. Truly one of a kind. I feel at ease around you, Sir Ike. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess we both prefer to skip idle chatter. Except for right now, that is. Our ship is docked here. Thank you for escorting us. Mavier! Already, like you asked. Feel free to tell me how great I am. Wait a minute. What's the Divine Dragon doing here? Marnie? What do you want? We don't have any more rings. There are circumstances that require we travel together to Lethos. Huh? Divine Dragon. After Marnie and I lost the rings, Zephia disciplined us to an unjust extreme. So, on my honor, I will not betray you once at sea. I will deliver you safely to Lethos. Will you trust me? I will. Take us to Lethos. What? Why would you help them? They're not our friends, they're enemies! The Divine Dragon should meet with Lady Vale. We have no reason to fight as long as you don't start trouble. I know a threat about not threatening people when I hear one. Mavier, what's happening? You will hear details once we are aboard. If that is unsatisfactory, then you may remain here. Hey! What? Fine. Fine. K-10. 
temporary truce until I get back to Zephia and the others in Lethos. So be it. Let us go, Divine Dragon. Okay. You're Lord Sombron's child? What? <laughs> yes. So that means you're the sibling Lady Vale has been looking for all along? And that's why we're headed to Lethos. Hang on. Does Gris know about this? He's the one who told me. Gris picked a fight at Elugia Castle to verify the truth, even surrendering a ring to do so. What? Nobody told me that was the plan! Why are Sombron and Vale going to Lethos? It's about Gradlon, the Fell Dragon's land lost under the sea. He intends to restore it. To restore that unholy land? My word! What more do you know about this, Vander? Gradlon sank beneath the waves 1,000 years ago. It was, of course, Sombron's land. Gradlon was a wicked place, one as much as Lethos is holy. To raise and revive it, Sombron needs to destroy the Divine Dragon Shard in Lethos. That shard is what chains Gradlon beneath the waves. Lord Sombron finds it... problematic. So you're saying that Sombron's greatest desire is to restore Gradlon? Far from it. His desire, if such a word is fitting for Lord Sombron, is to invade other worlds. Other worlds? The continent of Elios is only a stepping stone. He plans to extend himself everywhere. There are other worlds and he wants to rule them all. How is that even possible? I'm well beyond what I know for certain. Lord Sombron has shared little of this with me. I can say, Lady Vale is a pawn in service of his greater ambitions. Please tell me anything more you know. I've heard that Vale's called a defect. What does that even mean? Well, as a start, Dragon Royalty should be able to summon emblems. She cannot. Lord Sombron learned this recently, soon after his revival when reunited with Lady Vale. His children all fought in the war. But she, his youngest, never saw battle, or any emblems. She told me we met once, all that time ago. You were among her many siblings. They all, in time, died fighting in the war. All, save for you. <sighs> then Sombron was imprisoned, and Lady Vale's mother died, leaving her alone. She could find no friends in an age when it was rumored a last fell dragon child had survived. Lady Vale lived in hiding, knowing that were she discovered, she would be killed. A thousand years living like that. All alone that whole time? Not exactly. A few centuries ago, she came into contact with worshippers of the fell dragon. In their care, she slept in a hidden temple until Lord Sombron's release. She had been, long ago, close with those in that temple. But when she recently awoke... They were all dead, weren't they? So Lady Vale was relieved, even overjoyed, to find herself reunited with Lord Sombron. He detested her, and proclaimed her a defect, lacking a fell dragon's abilities and character. Sombron required her obedience, however, so he ordered Zephia to tamper with her nature. Lady Vale may have thought she was no longer alone, but she's never been more so. Ever. How awful. <laughs> what is it, Marnie? Is it the waves? Are you seasick? No! I'm trying not to cry! But I never knew Lady Vale's life was so sad. I thought I was the one with the tragic story. I should have maybe been nicer to her. Probably. You have never told me of your past, Marnie. Uh, I mean, you know, happens all the time. I was just abandoned by my mom, that's all. I had a lot, a lot of brothers, and she decided she didn't need a girl. Which is weird, since I was way superior to those useless jerks, even back then. I mean, I was better at helping her. But she never said thank you, or good job, or anything. The first time we went for a walk, just us. 
so she could find somewhere to dump me. Imagine, my hand in hers, and we're strolling from place to place. She left me at a church. I can't believe it. It's fine. The priest was nice. As long as I helped free Lord Sombron, I got lots of thank yous. Eventually, I met Zephia and joined Hounds. See? Lady Vale's story is so much sadder. Zephia filled out the four Hounds with devout followers of the Fell Dragon. Did that include you, Mavier? Yes. I was there at the hidden temple where Lady Vale slept. When she awoke, I was there to speak with her. She, a royal dragon, asked me to be her friend. I said it was impossible. Lady Vale then asked if I could offer my service to her as a knight. And you accepted? That I could not refuse. It's a big deal to be handpicked like that by royalty. Who would have thought? You made her knight? That's just cool. I mean that, Mavier. That's really cool. Should you wish, I am sure Lady Vale would also accept you as her knight. What? No way. I don't want to work with you that much. No praise, no thank yous. I hate you. Is that so? Besides, I already belong somewhere. I need to get back to Zephia. Since you're helping the Divine Dragon, you're probably going to get kicked out of the Hounds. I expect as much. Yeah, well, I like being one of the four Hounds. As soon as we're off this boat, we're enemies. You do hate me, after all. So, surely, you'll be happier. Right. So... Yes. I'm done talking. This is a waste of my time. Mavier, thank you for telling us all of that. When we find Vale, I hope you will do what you think is best for her, even if that means we'll cross blades again. I shall. What's happened to Lethos? The land, it's fallen to rot and ruin. A sure sign of Gravlon's return. Or that our foes are now destroying the Divine Dragon Shard. We have to stop Sombron. Where is the Shard? It's in the castle. Queen Lumera's home. Who would have thought we'd return here to see everything... come to this? I know you're here, Sombron! Show yourself! Ah, the Divine Dragon has arrived. Or should I call you the Divine Imposter? <sighs> You've arrived earlier than expected. How did you know where to find us? My other two children haven't even caught up to us yet. I assume you mean us. Why are you with them? You two brought them here? And betrayed us? Unbelievable. Please, no! You have it wrong! Wrong? <laughs> Looks pretty clear to me. This is my doing. I want Lady Vale to meet with the Divine Dragon. I might have even forced them to come, but it wasn't necessary. Marnie had no part in this. Mavier! Return to the Hounds, Marnie. Do not hesitate. Go now. Marnie, welcome back. But Mavier, what will we do with you? I'm willing to forgive and forget if you can explain yourself. We are family, after all. What nonsense. I know you're going to punish me, but Lady Vale will see the Divine Dragon. You rude, self-serving. I don't mind. I was just thinking I'd like to talk to the Divine Dragon myself. Vale? What's happened to you? <laughs> it's good to see you again. What did you do to Lady Vale? I told you about Lord Sombron's enchanted helmet. My spell has now truly taken hold. Vale, do you know who I am? Why, you're my dear long lost sister. What a happy reunion. <sighs> what the? 
this is what you've been trying to do to her? Can the other Lady Vale return? No, never. Not as long as that helmet remains attached and intact. That other side of her is dead. D dead Oh, please. You should be delighted. You don't have to talk to the defect anymore. Zephia, I know about Vale's past. Do you? You were alive way back then. W what? I mean, I didn't know. When I helped you with all of these awful things, Lady Vale was all alone for so long. And she was so excited to see her family again. She never got to enjoy it. And now she never will. It's all so terrible. What is this, Marnie? Zephia, I loved it when you gave me praise. I loved it when you said we were family. I loved belonging somewhere. I loved the four hounds. But this has gone too far. I have to do what I know is right. Praise or no praise. Marnie? I'm going to free Lady Vale. I'm going to break that helmet to pieces! No! Stop! <laughs> Marnie, that was simply pathetic. An attack like that couldn't put a scratch on Father's gift. I swung with all my strength, and it did nothing? I take it you were trying to free me, fool that you are? But as it turns out, you have failed in your attempt. Oh. I ordered you to stop, did I not? <laughs> Such a bad girl. You are a very naughty child. If only you had done as I had said. Marnie! Uh, dear. I'm sorry. I tried to save her, but in the end, I guess I wasn't strong enough. If she's ever her old self again, you tell her something for me? Please tell her that she's done so well. Don't go. Please. Marnie! <laughs> oh, did she die in your arms? How very tragic. What a waste. Got killed for nothing. Marnie was just trying to restore Vale. And all this... for that. I will never stand by you again, Zephia, save for the moment my blade pierces your heart. Divine Dragon, I beg of you, allow me to fight at your side, to avenge Marnie, and to save Lady Vale. Mavir, of course. So you're just going to betray me? Leave me sad and lonely again? And you, sister, I thought you'd be happy to be reunited with me after... so long. You are not our Vale. This must be about my new look. Then you're not going to like this look either. Marth. His fellow emblems stolen away. You turned your back on him. Oh, lonely thing. Just like me. But I'm here for you, little emblem. I'm all you need now. Had I known I had a sibling who survived the years, I would have killed you. I'd like to make sure I'm my father's one and only child. You want to be alone forever? Yes, that's right. I have no need for this sort of family, or friendships, or bonds of loyalty. I do appreciate you bringing the rings to me, but that's where our relationship ends. Now, goodbye, sister. Vale. 
Okay, Leute. Das war mal eine sehr lange Sequenz. Ich werde denen so hart in den Arsch treten. Für Vail und für Mani. Was hast du mir dazu gegeben, Geist? Dich werde ich vernichten, so hart ich nur kann. Ich kriege ein legendäres Schwert, okay. Okay. Das wird ekelhaft. Vor allen Dingen, weil sie einfach zwei Magier neben sich hat. Warum hat so eine random Einheit äh, auch noch eine legendäre Waffe? Sonst noch irgendwer mit einer legendären Waffe, der hier einfach random in der Gegend rumsteht? Also ich finde es gut, dass Mervir sich jetzt uns angeschlossen hat. Was mir nicht gefällt ist, dass hier einfach drei Drachen sind. Okay Leute, ich muss erstmal meine Truppen anpassen. Okay Leute, die Truppen sind jetzt soweit angepasst. Ich habe mal Junakens Team geholt für das Messer, was wir hier noch bekommen werden. Und wir kriegen wir ja gleich wahrscheinlich sowieso als Kameraden dazu. Und ich habe Frammel mal Falle mitgegeben. Wir können den zwar nur einmal einsetzen, aber dann können wir einen der Drachen zu uns holen und wenigstens auseinandernehmen. Bevor die großartig Schaden anrichten können. Also um die Drachen müssen wir uns auf jeden Fall als erstes kümmern. Divine One, I am with you from this day forward. Das freut mich. Ich wünschte, ich hätte dir auch ein Emblem geben können. Aber passt schon. So, zuallererst. Ich würde gerne Falle nutzen. Kann ich... Ich glaube, ich kann Falle auf Drachen nicht einsetzen. Okay, das ist kacke. Naja, ich habe es zumindest versucht. So, Kriegerlanze. Mal, ich werde ich... Oh, der Sandsturm hat es gerichtet. Der wäre sonst nicht gestorben. So, ich habe Glück und kann das Vieh instant vernichten, wie es scheint. Aber ich werde trotzdem ein bisschen was einstecken. Oder ich habe einen Crit. Ein Crit ist immer in Ordnung. Your orders, please. Kann ich bitte eine Wiederholung davon bei Louis? Autschen. Dann brechen wir mal diese Panzer hier. Der mit der Silbergroßachs gefällt mir nämlich gar nicht. Bitte einmal daneben hauen. Danke. Ich weiß, dass ich auch Roy hätte nutzen können. So, du solltest leichter sein. Ich kann bei dir einfach auf Bolganon gehen. Andersrum wäre eventuell besser gewesen. Ah, ist eh 0% Trefferchance. Schon irgendwo traurig. 16 Schaden, aber 0 Trefferchance. Echt traurig. So, der mit dem Bogen direkt mit Trip. Ich hab's bemerkt. Okay, ihn kann ich mit Movieu safe töten. Die Feuerlanze macht offenbar auch gut Schaden bei Gepanzerten. Äh, äh, gut, sie hat das Feuerelement drauf, ne? Muss man auch bedenken. So, du darfst deinen Freunden folgen. Ich helfe. 
Die vorderste Linie haben wir ausgescheidet. Ich werde dir trotzdem in den Hintern treten. Aber cool, dass du so einen schwarzen Blitz hast. Wie gesagt, am meisten Angst macht mir der Drache. Und die Verstärkung, die gerade, warum auch immer, von hinten kam. Finde ich jetzt überhaupt nicht nett. So, ich lasse jetzt äh, Jade extra mal hier unten in der Hoffnung, dass die dann alle auf Jade gehen. So, dir jage ich mal einen Speer in den Kopf. Tschüss. You have my respect. Kennst du schon meinen Freund, die Meisteraxt? No Tschüss. I'm pretty tough, you know. So, dich mache ich dann mal als nächstes fertig. Sorry. This should do it. Der Beistand war eigentlich unnötig. Und so sieht ein ordentlicher Crit aus. Ich finde mal, wir sollte einmal gegen sie antreten. Gegen die Ruder des Zephyr. It is a sad day that I must fight you, Mavia. And here I thought we were family. Family? You killed Marnie. I should have stepped in sooner. Then Lady Vale and Marnie might have had a chance. Excuse me. Aua. So, das Spiel mit Toren können zwei. Oh, dass ich auch noch einen Crit habe. I will not forget your loss. Tomahawk in dein Gesicht. Ja, glaube ich, eh egal, wer dich tötet. Du darfst mir dein legendäres Schwert geben. So, dich kriege ich locker mit dem Langbogen kaputt. Äh, der fiese Drache. Zum Glück trifft er nicht. Au! In der Stelle sind zum Glück nur Leute mit äh, Fernkampfwaffen. Die sich gegen die Bogenschützen wehren können. Außerdem habe ich die Steinader aktiv. Ich habe nebenbei Lapis mal dieses Kalatbolt gegeben. Man braucht äh, S, äh, um das nutzen zu können. In der Waffenstufe. Und ich habe nur A. Oh ja, kommt alle her zu mir. Ich habe die Orkanaxt extra ausgerüstet dafür. <lacht> Der Bruch ist ekelhaft. Der genauso. Ja, die machen Jade keinen Schaden. 
Aber mein Plan geht aus. Die versammeln sich alle um mich herum. Und die werden jetzt alle an der Orkanax äh, sterben. Dass ich mit A4 nutze. Als ob da noch ein Scheißdrache kommt. Weg mit euch. Einfach nur weg mit euch. Die blöden Mistviecher. Ach, das ist so schön anzusehen, ne? So, du machst jetzt Bekanntschaft mit meinem Speer. Oh, auch noch Sandsturm. So, den Drachen vernichte ich jetzt erstmal mit dem Schnitter. Im Übrigen, ich weiß nicht, ob ich es letzten Part erwähnt hatte, aber ich hatte mich selber und Framme über ein Zweiziege nochmal zurückgesetzt, damit wir den Leveldurchlauf nochmal haben. Das hat meine Werte aber nicht runtergesetzt. Also, ja, ich wollte es nur nochmal erwähnen. Ja, du kannst nix. Ich habe übrigens auch mal endlich die ganzen Gravierungen mal genutzt. Und tschüss. So, dann beilen wir mal Kalat Bolk mal ein. Das ist ein cooles Schwert. Kann ich jetzt zufällig jemanden gut mit dem Astrasturm treffen? Na ja, komm, ich nutze das mal gegen Griss. Guter Damage. Wichtiger Damage. Aua. Ein Leben wäre schon mal weg. Das war nicht gut. Ja, ich habe extra Excalibur ausgerüstet. Greif ruhig an. Und gegen mich habt ihr doch sowieso keine Chance. Können diese ewigen Nachschübe mal aufhören? So, ich mache jetzt einmal großes Opfer und heile sie dann direkt. So, Chris, dir hau ich jetzt eine runter. If it isn't the traitor, don't worry. You'll see Marnie soon. How dare you speak her name? I will kill you quickly. You'll be buried before you feel any pain. Ha. Ha. I'll assist. Allow me. Chris. My turn. Wie ich ihn genau umbringe. Death means no more pain. And who needs that? Okay. Danke dafür. Ich mach dich mal instant kaputt, bevor du irgendwelchen weiteren Schaden anrichten kannst. Is that sufficient? Mit den anderen beiden wird, äh, obwohl mit den anderen beiden wird Louis nicht klarkommen. Der eine hat nämlich auch Magie. Riss meinen Speer. Ja. 
und get aim. So, komm ruhig her. Queen Lumera's pet. The whimpering, pathetic worm. You are not my sibling. Und du bist nicht die richtige Vale. You're not mine. Vale is. Give her back. I am Vale. And I'll prove it. Here and now. By destroying you. Get aim. Die stehen hier gut, die Doppelgänger. Ey, nur mal so, selbst wenn der getroffen hätte, das wäre kein richtiger Damage gewesen. Dasselbe Thema hier. In dein Gesicht. Der da interessiert mich. Äh, wird das jetzt in meinen Vorrat geliefert? Ich muss direkt mal in meinen Vorrat gucken. Ist einfach noch ein scheiß Tache. Um Gottes Willen. Okay, am besten ich zerstöre Wähl in dieser Runde. Aber ich gucke erstmal in den Vorrat. Unter dem Messer müsste es sein. Ja, es ist hier. Yunaka kann das ja nutzen. So, ich würde es dann auch gerne direkt einweihen. Ich sagte, ich würde gern. Da würde ich aber offenbar bei sterben. Who are you looking at? The me in front of you? Or the me from before? Weg mit dir. Soll ich damit auch noch Hals, du Dreckige? So, Langbogen. Ein Leben schon mal weg. So, ich greife da mal mit Movier an. Aren't you going to protect me anymore? My time with the four hounds is behind me. I will not protect you. Same as ever, Mavir. You won't acknowledge me. You won't even say my name. Well, don't worry. I haven't forgotten your reward. How about a swift death? I will sacrifice anything, everything, to save Lady Vale from you. Give me strength, Marnie. Aua. Wieso? Wie wäre es mit einem wunderschönen Würmtöter? Ja, zählt sich halt zum Würm, warum auch immer. Aber so kann ich die auf jeden Fall noch mal ein Leben ziehen. Da habe ich eine gute Waffe bekommen. Okay, ich kann sie definitiv töten. Ich gucke jetzt, dass ich vorher noch so viele wie möglich mitnehme, wegen XP allein schon. Die Lanze. Wäre nicht nötig gewesen, aber trotzdem. Zwillingsschlag. Einfach mal komplett jetzt eskalieren.
So, dich kann ich easy mit der Kriegers töten. Der zweite ist einfach ein Crit. Und das war eine 3% Chance. Ich habe nicht vor, alle zu töten, Leute. Das würde viel zu lange dauern. Vor allem, wenn man bedenkt, dass die eh alle durchgehend wiederbelebt werden. Beziehungsweise neue dazukommen. Das würde keinen Sinn machen. Ja komm, der ist tot. Warum kann ich drüber reden? So, den können wir mit dem Panzerbrecher wegkriegen. Brauchen uns nicht angucken. Wissen, dass es äh, sterben wird. Und den anderen kann ich noch mit Celica umnieten. Der hat ja Toren. Oder auch nicht, aber XP sind XP. Doch, mit Ignus hat es gereicht. So, dann ist es eine Zeit, dich auszuschalten. Du bist sowas von tot. Der letzte Bitte ein Crit. Danke. Danke, dass meine Bitte erhört wurde. Die böse Welt muss verdroschen werden. Da hat kurz die Gute gesprochen. Ich hab's gehört. Ja, Jade mit ihren Afi hat einfach so viel weggeregt. What's happening? Why are you here? Fail? Oh, Fail. It's really you, isn't it? This doesn't make sense. Her changing back wasn't supposed to be possible. The enchanted helmet. It's correct. Marnie's attack worked? Marnie. Such bravery. Where are we? Lethos Castle. You've been under Zephyr's control. My head hurts really bad. And wait a second. What am I wearing? And where did I get this ring? This is yours, right? I remember. We were near the cathedral. You said it was important to you. Here, please, take this. Thank you, Vale. I will not allow it. <laughs> Heed me well, O oh defective daughter of mine. Papa. My goal is so close I can taste it, but their kindness makes you weak. Now go and reclaim my emblem rings at once. I won't! So I see. That is a shame. Well then, there is nothing more you can do for me. And I have never been in the habit of keeping that which has no value. <sighs> Ich 
you're everything. There's still too much left unsaid. Who I am. Listen, Bear. I'm your. Dragon is gone. That I should see this day. But how? How could this? Please, the Dragonstone. <gasps> but why would? This wayward creature was another of my children. The one you've been searching for all this time. Your sister. The Divine Dragon took the traitor in after the events of the last war. Thus, the fool did survive. No child of mine should live as a Divine Dragon. Death was this one's inexorable fate. No! But the stone shouldn't break! The stone shouldn't shatter unless... All that time, you were my sister! I found you! I finally found you! Please don't be gone! I need to talk to you! I don't understand why you would sacrifice yourself for me! <laughs> Such pathetic children. All twelve of the rings are finally in my possession. Together, their power is so great. Granted once every thousand years, and now that unrivaled power is mine. Heed me, emblem rings. Grant me infinite power. <laughs> Impossible. Gradlon. Restored. Papa, where are you going? You've destroyed everything. You killed your own child. This is what you wanted? Looks like it's over for you all, hmm? Sepia! Lady Defect. You survived here only because of all those who came to your aid. What a shame. Because now it's time for you to say farewell. Farewell? <laughs> My head! Lady Vale! I don't want her to have control. But Marnie broke the helmet. Oh, Mavia. Simple, simple, Mavia. It was only cracked. That certainly weakened it. But with Lord Sombron's elevation to power, the helmet works far better than before. <gasps> Lady Vale, come on out. Join us, if you would. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
No. Father. <laughs> what power. You've finally done it. I wanted to kill the Divine Dragon myself, but... Oh well. Lady Vale. Lord Sombron will gladly welcome you as his daughter now. Good to see you back. Would have had to kill you otherwise. Zephia, Gris, return to father. I'll catch up with you soon. Of course. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. As for all of you, death is inevitable. But I'd like this mess dealt with now. Clean this up for me. Leave no one alive. The Corrupted! And more than we can handle on our own. We don't even have our rings! Rings? They'd be useless to you. The Divine Dragon is dead. None of you have the ability to summon emblems. This is the end. We have no way out. So, who wants to die first? There's no need for any of you to squirm or struggle. You're all about to join your beloved Divine Dragon. Are we all going to die here? There must be something we can do! Please. Ja Leute, äh, hier Ende dieses Kapitel bzw. diese Folge. Ich weiß, es ist jetzt ein riesiger Cliffhanger für euch, aber ich muss äh, hier an der Stelle das Video beenden, weil darauf folgend instant das nächste Kapitel beginnt und ich da wirklich, äh, ja, nicht vorher zum Somni oder zur Weltkarte konnte. Deswegen teile ich diese Aufnahme in zwei Parts auf. Ihr habt es hier in zwei Stunden Part. Zumindest habe ich eine zwei Stunden Aufnahme hier nach jetzt gehabt. <lacht> ich sage an der Stelle trotzdem mal, wenn es euch gefallen hat, den letzten Abo und ein Like da. Und ihr könnt gespannt sein auf das, was euch in der nächsten Folge erwartet. Ich habe das ja schon aufgenommen. Es passieren wirklich interessante Sachen auch in der nächsten Folge. So viel sage ich. Ich will ja keinen Spoiler von denen, die es noch nicht kennen. Ich sage an der Stelle aber mal Ciao und bis zum nächsten Mal.